knows the future. He also holds my hand. Oh, yeah. 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 My name is Ethan Feldman. I'm an assistant coach at NYU. I played three seasons here and then played one year of professional basketball in Israel. The last few seasons of my career at NYU were a lot of fun with my teammates and coaches, but we didn't have a ton of on-court success. On the court, there were a lot of players coming in and out, um, and we were never able to fully realize our potential, even though we had some pretty good talent. I think the dynamic has changed a lot. Um, anyone who watched the team last year will, will notice the stark difference in, in play style. And I think Coach Klatsky just brings a, um, a winning culture from Colgate, right? Like, he started in a position where his teams at Colgate were really, really bad for a long time. And although NYU has a storied history in the past, um, the past six or seven years have been really bad and he's looking to change that. So I did, I did some extensive research about the team in my interview prep and in just watching them on the court, I thought there was some talent, I thought they played hard. And honestly, things didn't go perfect last year and a lot of that was some close losses and then as you dig a little deeper um, there's some other stuff going on but they had some talent and I was uh, excited when I got the job to coach these guys and see what I could do with them and then obviously bringing in two new players like Spencer Friedman and Michael Savarino was a huge boost to, to the already um, solid team. My name is Michael Savarino, I play table tennis for Duke University and uh, they call me Ping Pong Sav. <laughs> My name is Spencer Friedman. I'm a grad student here at NYU. I am from Los Angeles, California, and I transferred here after four years at Harvard. Strangely enough, Colgate played Harvard and Spencer had his arguably best game against Plus Colgate. Minutes to go, Harvard can get a couple of stops and a couple of makes like that. Well, Friedman! Go. Friedman. Lead as big as 16 points. Left-handed, open. Friedman. Spencer is one of the best passers I've ever seen and been around. Um, great ball handler, great shooter, and just an, a willingness to get others involved when he's got such an extensive offensive skill set. Close to 10. Friedman. Because maybe you saw that clip of a Lucas Sakota heave that sent this game into overtime. This is Friedman who takes it inside. When his name came to the surface uh, through some mutual uh, friends and acquaintances, it just seemed like a great fit. So I, I think Spencer's the type of guy that can do some special things. Um, really, the sky's the limit for him. I'm Michael Savarino. Um, I'm from Durham, North Carolina. And prior to NYU, I played basketball at Duke University. Great pace at times this year. As they go to the right, Savarino will try one from distance and knock it down. Sav is probably one of the toughest players that I've been around. He's been in a little bit different role being at Duke and being a guy that is mainly been a practice player to help the players that are looking to make the NBA. For him, this is a situation that he can now come into and be one of the main guys and, and, and have a, a bigger role. And really good shooter, um, can't dribble, but that's okay when you do a lot of other, a lot of other good things. Just being around the Duke program, um, for so long, he learned a lot of the right habits. Two guys that we're super excited about, we'll see what they can bring, but um, I'm, I'm very confident in both of them and, and I'm really excited to coach them.
Well, it's been a week since these NYU Violets last took the court, but they are back and they're looking to continue this dominant season. Hi, everyone. This is Sean at Kearney bringing you game number six on this 2022 campaign. Leading this team is none other than Zay Freeney, the 6'2 sophomore out of Phoenix, Arizona. Michael Savarino, the grad transfer out of Durham, North Carolina. Spencer Friedman, the grad transfer out of Harvard. A little over 17 points a game and shooting just under 68% from the field. Come on, let's go. Pass to Savarino for three. Bang! Three from beyond the arc that is knocked down by Timothy Park. Here's Lipovich. Goes to Savarino, the corner three. Got it! Michael Savarino, back to back threes. He's off to a tremendous start. Friedman, he's dangerous. Now Savarino again! Driving through traffic, Chris from deep. It rims around and in. Hand off to Smith. Eight on the shot clock. The pass tipped away by Friedman. He's on a one-on-one. -on -one. Bounce pass to Freeney, who deposits it. Violet's back on top, 11 to nine. Here's another three on the way from Savarino. He is on one tonight. Clark for Friedman, the wide open three drained. Cummings gets the return pass, draws the end one. Lipovich finds Freeney. Freeney turn around off the window, got it. Read to Bashinsky. And the offensive foul called on NYU. So the third turnover of the day. Freeney, the three, missed everything. Freeney, Clark up ahead. Couldn't handle it, it's a turnover for NYU. A 5-0 run right now for the Panthers. Cummings, full steam ahead, bounce pass to Raider. Who got it? And Westbury with their first lead of the night. Johnson, Raider, tough layup, got it. Westbury leads 33 to 30. Freeney kicks out, Friedman around the horn, the three, drains it. A big answer from NYU, tie it up. Corner steps into a two, rattles out. And the tough layup made by Smith, who came flying in for the offensive board. That hits the rim, and that is how the first half ends. And so for the first time this season, NYU trails heading into the half, down to the Westbury Panthers, 41 to 39. That's all it is right now. They are playing so much harder than every single one of you guys. Right? Like every loose ball I look up, it's a white ball. Give me that white ball. It's not going to work. It doesn't work in college basketball. It does not work. You have to be the toughest team. We're 5 0 because we've been the toughest team. All right? That's who we are. Now these guys come in, they're not more talented. What do I want to bring to this team? I think my personality and energy is, is the main thing. And just have the guys feeling good about themselves, about the team, about the staff. So I'm excited to put my mark on this team and program. And I think um, it's going to be a process. I don't think it's going to be one of those things where we come in and snap our fingers and it's just we stop there. After stop after stop and then great look after great look after great look, okay? And if that means we win by 20, great. If it means we're in a battle, great. Whatever happens, we're ready for it. All right, so let's go out, let's play like we can, and show everyone what we're all about. All right, let's go. Come on, good body language. Come on, let's go. Together. Yeah. 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 Lipovich loads up a three, laces it. Stevens straight away three, yes. And the Violets back out in front. Friedman, a second time, got it. There's Cummings, he's been held relatively in check tonight, just seven points on 2 of 8 shooting. That 
shot, missed everything. Timeout on the floor, and the Violets are feeling it again. The Violets looking to answer. Friedman turns on the Jets and lays it in with the left hand. Savarino got it. Sinke Stevens stepped in the passing lane and flushes. Freeney down the floor, finds Friedman in the corner of the three, is laced. The Violets looking to break away. Freeney stays with it with the right hand. And NYU, all things considered, trailing at the half, will head to 6-0 on the 2022 campaign.